you have a bunch of these in your component boxes, um, these are little relays and they're typically triggered by five volts. And these things just don't tickle my fancy. When I want to switch 12 volt loads with a microcontroller, uh, I typically want the microcontroller uh, and these uh, relays to be powered by the 12 volts. Well, that's where the sponsor of this video, PCBWay, comes in. I built myself a project to do just that. So here, the usual PCBWay swag, the famous PCBWay pen, and my circuit boards. Let me explain what these boards are while future me solders one off to the side. So this is a PCB that you would hook up to somewhere between 9 and probably up to about 36 volts, going positive on this side and negative on this. I've built them in such a way that they can be chained together, like so. Uh, you can actually bridge across these. They use screw terminals, the ones that I use standard in all my projects these days, and it has four channels. They use solder in relays and my own driving circuitry with a diode to make sure that we don't get inductive spiking back to the micro. There is no microcontroller footprint on this because the thought is that you would have your own microcontroller, whatever that would be, whether it be Arduino or ESP32 or ST Micro or whatever you'd like, and all you'd have to do is send a high signal on any of these four channels. And that makes this doubly accessible if you use two of them together, then you have eight channels you can switch. Each channel's positive are down here, one, two, three, and four, and all the negatives are here. They're all common together, so you can use one or all of these. Also a feature I feel is really important is fused inputs. So each of your channels can be individually fused, and so if you blow one fuse, the rest of your channels still work. Let's take a look at the driver circuitry, but for that, maybe we should use the finished board. Zooming you way in here to show you just how simple the circuitry is. So it's just a ubiquitous 2N3904 NPN transistor. Uh, we've got a couple of resistors here. I like standing them up so they take less space. We've got an LED to indicate that this channel is active or not. And we got a flyback diode. And I'm just using these very inexpensive uh, 12 volt coiled relays. But if you wanted to use this with 24 volts, all you'd have to do is install 24 volt coil relays. The individual channels are well separated by these walls and all the negatives will come together here. And for fuses, I use these ubiquitous mini fuses from the automotive world, which are available in 12 volts and 24 volts. Your 12 volt power on here will actually come out at the VCC pin here and the ground pin here. If the voltage you're choosing to use this board with is too high for your microcontroller's V-in pin, then you can always put a voltage regulator in series with this pin. There's a ground line to tie them all together, and what else could you want? Well, actually, there is one more thing you might want. If you want the normally closed contacts of your relays, they are broken out here. Channel one, two, three, and four. Let's put this thing to action. And here we go, all ready for a demonstration. I've got uh, four automotive bulbs here, three really dim ones and one kind of bright one. And um, that should do just fine for the demo. Now I've got my voltage coming in on this side, uh, 12 volts from the read-in RD6018. Um, it doesn't matter what side it comes on because both sides are in parallel. So you could leave one unsoldered if you want. I just soldered everything through so I can connect to another board and expand. And then here I'm just using an Arduino Nano, but this could be anything. This could be like an ESP32 over Wi-Fi, whatever you want. So let's turn this on. 12 volts comes to the board. Everything defaults in an off state, which is great. And then I put these buttons here just to toggle on each channel. So let me toggle channel four, should be this one. So there it is, off, three, two, Oh, one. <laughs> this poor bulb is in bad shape. But then, what's the point, right? You can just use switches. Well, you can do these kinds of things if you are not limited by switches. So like that. Or something a little bit more like this.
So you can do patterns, you can sequence things if you want. If you have uh, Christmas lights, for example, in all different strings, now this would be for a DC voltage um, Christmas lights, like those battery powered ones would be the perfect example of this. You can power them from a power supply and have different channels. You can make them do your own patterns. Um, for me, what I'm going to use this for, the at least the first thing I'm going to use it for, is to control my lighting in this room. I do have a switched panel right now, but I want to do presence detection and then turn on the lights based on where I am in the room and you know whether I'm here or not. And that requires some microcontroller logic. I also want to be able to flip on and off the lights from my phone without getting up. And so I wanted something that I could just use a microcontroller to do it, but also have redundant switches. So if I happen to be up, I don't have to pull out my phone. I can just go and switch it on or off. So the sky's the limit for this. I will put this little demo sketch in the GitHub link below. And these things you can go directly on PCBWay's site to order some if you want. And I'll also link to all the parts you need to make your own. But I made sure that I used ubiquitous through hole parts for the drivers. And uh, I will link to a seller for these relays. And then the sky's the limit. If you have only five volt loads, then this VCC, you can connect directly to the five volt pin on your Arduino. And so you don't need any sort of uh, switching at all. It would just go directly to it. And don't forget to link your ground. Also, if you're gonna use these flimsy DuPont wires, uh, make sure that you use capacitors on the power rails because these little wires, when you flip on these relays, relatively high current compared to an Arduino, it'll brown out the Arduino. Ask me how I know. And so let me know what you would do with this kind of PCB and are you gonna be ordering one? Links in the description below. Thanks for watching.